Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan for Make Love Via Self Learning Tutorials. Well, in this tutorial, we'll be going through a basic workflow between Revit and FreeCAD. It is one of the questions asked by many users that how we can have a basic type of workflow and how is the interoperability between these two BIM software. Uh, one is a proprietary one, the Revit. Another is a free and open source software that I use mostly in my tutorials that is FreeCAD so we'll be going through the basic workflow how the file can be exported from FreeCAD and how the further it can be imported to Revit so we should begin with that so you see users we have this sample house here that I just model in FreeCAD so what we have here is a simple floor, a set of two walls, a roof, and two windows and a door. So what we'll do is we'll simply export this file in IFC format. The IFC means industry foundation classes. This is a, an open format described by the building smart to have the workflow between different types of BIM software. A BIM software should be called a BIM software if it is capable of importing and exporting this IFC format. So what we'll do is we'll shift to the Arc Workbench and we'll select all the entities and all the elements that we have model we want to export. So the very first is the flow. Hold the control key and select the wall, roofs, this wall. Neglect the pre-built parent walls. Now the door window one and another window so I selected all the components now here's an option name creates a floor object including the selected objects so we'll simply click on it so now we have this floor here you can also rename it but for timing we'll leave it as it is so if we click the space bar on and off so you can see you can hide the floor this option is basically beneficial when you're creating several floors in a building so you want to work on a particular flow. You know there's a particular beam approach. So now clicking on the floor object, we'll create a building object. Create a building option from here. Now we have a building. This is beneficial when you create several buildings in a site. Now creating the building, clicking on the building object will create a site. So everything is cons cons subscribing to this. So you can see site, building, flow, and its components. So now to export in the IFC format, simply click on the site, go to the file option. Here you have export option here. Now let's go to the desktop and the sample folder. You can save it anywhere. Now in the save as type, you can see there are several formats exported by the FreeCAD. But right now we enter in the industry foundation classes. So click on it. Let's name it as sample house and save it. So, if we shift to desktop, we can see we have the sample folder here. So, the file is made by the FreeCAD. That's not a 65 KB. This is a basically a text file because it's a readable file. You can easily read it. So, if we see there are certain sets of all the things, we can go through it later. So, in other tutorial, now we'll go to the Revit. Basically, I'm using 2017 version. So, from here, we'll go to the open option and here we have IFC so we'll go to our desktop here we have the samples the sample house click open so Revit is reading the file so at the first phase we'll open the flow so you see we have this floor option we can change the color diagram from this option visual style change it to shaded so you see you have the flow plan and go to 3d view from here default 3d view and you can see the house is imported you can change the style visual style change it to shaded so you can see we obtain the same model that on the free cad and the rivet so you have the roof you have the set of walls door windows and the floor now what further you can do here is you can go to the floor option you can add your doors by simply clicking here 
here or here so if you in 3d view you can see how easily we have imported the whole house and made the doors similarly you can make the windows clicking on the windows object like here one here we can do whatever operations you can want but as you know there are certain limitations there will be another set of tutorials regarding that <laughs> well there are many things being missing in the Revit 2 for the case of interoperability but further you can do you can add some walls here click on the wall and what you can do here is take this reference point click on the wall like this let end it up to here so if you view the 3d view you can see you have the wall here but it's quite height is long than the previous one so what basically here is this top constraint is unconnected that to floor level one but we will shift to 3000 mm 3 3 meter height so it should be mm here so that's all so that's all in the tutorial i hope the doubts and the query is clear well thanks for watching this one nirbhay chohan for my club we are self tutorials goodbye